I hope you guys are all doing great. This is the nail art design we're going to be working on today. It's not difficult to do. We're going to be using green glitter and then the white acrylic paint to create our flowers. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be side swiping my nail with a green nail polish. The color I'm going to be using is this one by Icing and it's called Money Tree. I'm going to start in this corner here and I'm just going to be going straight across all the way to the other side all the way as straight as I can but if it's not perfect you don't have to worry because we're going to be adding a little bit of glitter and that helps hide the crooked line a little bit so I'm just going to be filling all that in and there we have our side swipe now we'll just allow it to dry once your background is completely dry it's time to go in with our glitter polish the one I'm going to be using is this green glitter polish by Simple Colors and it's called Call You Later all I'm going to be doing is applying it over the entire nail even the area we didn't polish and I'm going to try to go a little bit lighter over that area but we do want some glitter on the area we didn't polish as well and there we have it Let's just allow it to dry. Once your background is completely dry, it's time to begin drawing the flowers. I'm going to be using a detailing brush and white water-based acrylic paint. I'm going to begin by placing five dots. And the reason I do this, just so I could know the placement of where each of my petals is going to be. This helps me know exactly where I'm going to be placing my petals. So I'm just doing five little small dots. Once your five dots are in place, you're going to go in and you're just going to make them a little bit bigger. So starting with the top one, I'm just going to round it off. And I'm going to move to the next one. And I'll begin rounding it off also to the side. And we're just working on the petals. Once they're set where we want them, we can go in and make them bigger, rounder, pointier, whatever it is that you want to do. Right now we're just um, placing them so we know exactly where we're going to want them. I'm going to move over to the little one over here. And I'm just going to do the same exact thing. So there we have our five petals. We can go in and we can do them wider, uh, bigger, or just make them more perfect, I suppose, to what you want. I'm going to move over to this bottom one here. I'm going to just make it a little bit wider. This one here, I'm going to do the same thing. And we don't want them so pointy, not the flower ones. This one's now we can go in and we can make it a little bit bigger so it could be in sync with the rest of them and there we have our flower. I'm going to go under my flower and I'm going to place one dot, two dots. That's just for the placement of the bottom ones we're going to be um, painting. So now that I know where I want them I'm going to go in and I'm going to do that sort of petal. I'm going to go into the other one. I'm going to flatten it out. and bring it inwards as well. Okay, I'm going to go to the bottom of these two in between and I'm going to place a, another little dot and that's where I'm going to want it so I'm going to go all around giving it a little dip in the middle. Okay, so that's the shape we're going to be working with. We're just going to allow this to completely dry. Now I have dipped in some yellow and all I'm going to be doing is two little strands around each of the petals in yellow. But you can choose the color that you want. I just decided on yellow. So I'm just doing two. Very simple. I'm going around and I'm just doing two little strands going on the sides of each of our petals. On the two that we made on the side, I'm just going to fill the center of both of them up. Just the very center going upwards. And on the one we have on the bottom, I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm just filling it in about half waist probably. And that's it for our painting of the flower. 
I'm going to get my dotting tool and in the center of my flower I'm going to be placing a 2 mm size rhinestone in green and on the bottom sides I decided to add the tiny flat rhinestones you see there and they look like this they actually look like big glitters but the correct name for them is um, flat rhinestones but I call I like to call them glitters because that's what they look like well that's what they are just in a bigger size so I'm going to be applying one right there and the other little one well the same size on the little one right there and that's it for this nail art design. It's not a difficult design to do. Take your time, use your favorite colors, and you'll see it's not very difficult to do. Take care, you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.